Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Wednesday, March 6, 2024. And oh, what a day it was. UMBS opened up 19 basis points. ADP employment came in at showing 140,000 new job creation on 150,000 forecast. It was 107 previously. Wage earn, wage gain, wage gains for job changers accelerated from 7.2 to 7.6 percent overall wage inflation was 5.1 percent to me this is a big number this is going to tell us once that goes flat or negative is when all those credit card bills are going to start popping leisure hospitality added 41,000 jobs in february followed by construction the street was looking for 150,000 jobs so this is a bit lower than expected the street was looking is the street is looking for 190,000 jobs on Friday's job report. Sometimes it leaves a mark, sometimes it doesn't. Today's ADP deployment data is passing without much of a trace. If one were to make a case for reaction, it would be modestly positive, but it's hard to separate from early bond buying because the volume and gain showed up well before 815. Jerome Powell head to the hill today for a semi-annual Humphrey Hawkins testimony. His prepared remarks were posted early, plump line. Rate cuts are coming, but not imminent. We also got news that Flags, our parent and New York community bank, got roughed up yesterday after Moody's cut its credit rating below investment grade mortgage services who have their escrow accounts at Flagstar should be checking with Fannie, Freddie, Jenny on whether they have to move those accounts to a different bank. It was an interesting day for the bond market. Yields dropped to the lowest levels of more than three weeks amid several apparently valid motivations. Upon closer inspection, most of the improvement happened far enough away from those motivations. To give them credit, on a day with Joel's job opening and the Powell testimony and most obvious market mover, it was a series of headlines and trading halts surrounding NYCB. Although those ultimately canceled each other out, we're left with modest but important improvement ahead of Thursday's ECB announcement and Friday's job report. UMBS ended the day up 27 basis points at 100.88. So at 100.88, it puts us right below that 50-day moving average, which is the black trend line, but above that 25-day moving average. Any distance from that tough Fibonacci line at 100.428 is meaningful. We also got news that the Supreme Court ruled unanimously yesterday to restore former President Donald Trump's name on Republican primary ballots. The ruling overturned its Colorado decision to disqualify Trump under the 14th Amendment Insurrection Clause for his role in the events of January 6, 2021. The court's decision applies nationwide, including reversing decisions in Maine and Illinois. We also got a couple posts from our sponsor. One is in our Yeah Bud series. Yeah Bud, did Taylor Swift steal the Super Bowl? Maybe, maybe not. And also we got a, another installment in our series about the Fifth Agreement. So step up your sales game with insights from the Fifth Agreement. It isn't just any book, it's a strategy at it's a strategic ally in your journey towards sales mastery. So check it out on our sponsor at wellthatmakesense.com.